Soon as I heard that Frank Ocean pulled out, I spoke to um, I spoke to Richard Moffat, the booker of Splendor, and, and found out you know I asked him if he was interested in, in looking at Lord as replacing Frank Ocean. He said yep. Yeah. He spoke to, to Paul Patico and um, and and had their conversations, and I tracked down management and asked if they had something they wanted to be part of, and um, I pushed really hard to get it across the line and it was amazing, it was perfect timing and I think it really, it was really the catalyst of, of Lord being, um, let's say at one level and then being completely looked at at a higher level. Um, I think, this, uh, again, like, because DCRK was the first act that I, that I actually went after and signed, then selling out the Metro was definitely a highlight as well. There's a lot. You gotta, you gotta be able to appreciate the small things. I think. Um, we really push the team aspect because there's ten agents at Harbour and everyone's got their own relationships, point of views. Uh, everyone thinks things a little bit differently. There's some more creative people. There's some more strategic people. Um, so we definitely push the team a lot. Um, just because I'm the agent for Lord. You know, we have meetings every week or two weeks about creative ways to market the acts, all that kind of stuff, and it really, it really pushes our artists and and um, and it's, it's a big, it's a it's a feeling that brings everyone together, and everyone kind of feels like they're a part of something bigger. And yeah, so while yeah, an act would sign on with with an individual art agent, it's definitely a team thing mm -hmm. for us specifically. Be willing to give all of your time to your artists. It's not a career, it's a life. Um, that's pretty much the main thing. It's like there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of headaches, but there's a lot of rewards. And when it's good, it's really good. Yeah. I guess how marketable they are to a certain degree. I mean, how much you can how much you can um, work with them in terms of you know, getting to the next level or whatever. As well as that, definitely there needs to be a point of difference or a bit of originality, you know, and that's the thing with Lord is that she's doing something a little bit different. She's not copying everyone else, and that's what sets her apart, and I think that's definitely a key thing. When, when looking at artists, you need to go and find out what are they doing that se separates them from every other artist in the pool or the genre of where they fit. Yeah, we just signed Bad Dreams from Adelaide. Um, Safi is an act that I signed uh, about a month or so ago. Um, I'm at the point where I'm not going all out signing every artist. I'm being actually really careful with who I sign and, and um, it's about the acts that I see that actually can go somewhere rather than spot or, you know, oh, I don't work with this style of artist, maybe I'll work with this style of artist. I'm, I'm really honing in on artists that I genuinely love and feel like they're going to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. 